Today I'm going to show you how to insert or create a watermark photo or transparent photo behind text boxes. And we will be doing this demonstration in the Apple iWork Pages application and using our sunny funeral template that you see before you. The first thing to determine is find out which page that you would like to have the watermark photo put on. And in this particular um, demonstration, I'm going to put it on the second page on the left side panel. So I'm just going to go over to that and it's going to go right here. And as you can see, we have some filler text in a text box currently there. So what I want to do is just click on the text box and move it aside temporarily. And I'll move it back once the watermark has been put on. The next thing is you're going to go up to Shapes and select the square box. A square box appears and you're just going to move it and size it to the size that you want your watermark photo to be. And I would like mine rather large. I want it to fill the entire background. So I'm just going to make the box that big. Then I'm going to go to my desktop and locate the photo that I would like to insert into this box. I'm just going to drag the photo from my desktop and drop it right into the box. Click on the box so that the edit black box appears underneath it. Then I'm going to click on the edit mask until my cursor turns into a hand and I'm just going to center it and also move the toggle switch on the edit mask to the left to size it down and then center it once again. You're going to center it by clicking on the picture with your hand cursor and center it where you'd like it. So now that my photo is centered and placed accordingly, I'm going to now make it transparent. So you're going to select your photo, go up to View, Show Inspector to show the Inspector Toolbox, and I'm going to go down to Opacity and just move the slider down to right about 30%. That looks really good. And now my photo is transparent. Then I'm just going to take my text box that I moved over earlier and place it right on top of the photo. Now with the text box still highlighted, I'm going to go up to Arrange, Bring to Front just to make sure that the text box sits in front of the transparent photo that we just created. And once that happens, then you can go into the text box, placeholder, text, and if you haven't already, go ahead and delete it. And you can either enter your information here, or you can go ahead and paste it from another document right into this text box. And that's all there is to creating a watermark inside a beautiful funeral program template created and presented by the funeral program site.